Hello everyone, welcome to a new process video. I'm working on some photos from my Springfield trip and I have two three by eights happening here. Three photos, one slot open. And I should say, I originally thought I was going to include this and do a photo flip, but then I realized I don't really need that. I'm just gonna save it so that in the journaling, like I can write the name of the church and you know, whatever as, as part of my journaling, but I don't really, need that photo. So I think I'm going to stick with these three. But my goal here was to talk about the neighborhood because I chose to stay in an Airbnb when I was here. And Springfield's a little weird in that it's, I guess, downtown with quotation marks. Their downtown area is not large by any means. And there aren't actually like that many hotels that are decent that are in that area. So I just thought, you know what, forget it. After I had read reviews and they were all kind of meh, mixed, I decided, no, I'm just going to, I'm going to do an Airbnb. I made sure that their busing routes could get me where I needed to go. So that wasn't a problem. And then once I got there and got into where I was actually staying, I absolutely loved it. You can kind of see right here, it says Hermit's Hideaway on the sign. And it's actually like this, sorry, you can hear that. Um, it's actually this huge older home and they have it split into three. So the couple who owns it lives in one part and then the two other units are for Airbnbs. And I actually met the owners on the second day that I was there. Super cool people. So actually, if you're ever going to Springfield and you want an Airbnb recommendation, I will give you this one. So having said all of that, I know I also want to use a particular set of stamps I have because one of the stamps says something like enjoying the neighborhood or exploring the neighborhood or, or something like that. So I'm going to pull it out of here. This is how I store all of my clear stamps here. I know it's this one. Oh, I, I guess I didn't remember that it was actually about staycation, but I guess if it's talking about neighborhood, that makes sense. But I'm going to use this for other things, right? Oh, it says around the neighborhood. Oh, dang. I thought it said exploring. I might have another one that says something else. And I know I have a pocket card that says loving the neighborhood or something. I don't want to use both. I either want to use the card or the stamping. And I was thinking it was going to be the stamping. I wanted to look through my regular green journaling cards first just to see what I have that might fit with this. And I have a couple in here. I like that I could stamp in here, but I don't like this grid. So this is not bad, actually. I can maybe do something with that. But I want to just, that's kind of cute too. I keep getting distracted. I want to just look through here, see what I find that might be conducive to the stamping portion. Like that's too small. It won't fit in there. And then if nothing here works and I just don't like the way it'll look, then I'll go into my actual travel cards. The reason I'm doing this is because I have so many regular Project Life style pocket cards. I need to be using them more. Of course I have travel ones and I want to use those for travel. I have a lot of those too, but I have all of these that just sit on my desk and they don't get used nearly as often. And I'm really on a mission this year to work through some of these regular ones and make use of them, whether it's stamping on them, adding embellishments, little clusters, whatever, but I really need to use them. All right, I think I have picked out this one and I wanna make it work, but I have to make sure the size is correct. So I want to just take the stamp and line it up here. Ooh, it's tight. I mean, it would fit if I was very, very careful. I think I'm willing to give it a try because this one I didn't like because it was too much of a grid. This, I don't mind this here. Actually, it would let me stamp. I could do a little journaling about the neighborhood and then maybe do some embellishments down here. So it's kind of allowing me three things in one, which I really like the idea of that. All right, I've got my stamp at the ready. I have seasoned it because I think maybe I haven't used that one before. I think it's the other one I'm thinking of and I wanna make sure I get a good stamp out of it. So I seasoned it, I did a test stamp, we're all good to go. So I am using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink because this isn't a weird surface, it's just a card, so it'll be fine. Just wanna make sure I got a 
good amount of ink on there and then I just have to line it up carefully to fit in there and actually I want to go to the right if I can I don't know you know what I'll center it because I don't think there's enough room to get a staple in there anyway oh look at that sorry <laughs> every time our water softener is we need salt in it you can hear the noise so if you're hearing that I apologize we do need to get that taken care of but look at the glorious stamping that has occurred Okay, so I have that done. I should mention this stamp set is from Feed Your Craft. And to my knowledge, they're not in business anymore. They decided to quit doing stuff a while ago. So I think the only place you can get this is probably Etsy. Or not Etsy, eBay, sorry, Etsy. eBay, at this point, find a used set maybe somewhere. Um, and I like it, but I don't think it's, it's available any longer. For what I have left, I do wanna do something down here I think and then I'm considering cutting this down and having a background show through because that's a lot of dead space unless I found like a really cool embellishment that I could put there but I'm thinking I'll end up cutting it down and at least I have some nice options I could do gray background brown what do I have going in here I could do a red accent I don't want red behind it that's a little too Christmassy but yeah there's more dark in the planks here too so maybe Maybe a darker gray to match the planks, the brick walkway there, the cement steps of the church. I'm gonna go into my stash and look. In my scraps, I did have this. I also had a shade that was lighter than this, another piece that was a shade darker. The darker was, was way too dark. This is kind of a nice mid-range. I think it's definitely lighter than what's here, but the one that's even lighter than this, it was like, smoke or something I think it's called uh way too light so I think this is going to be my best bet here so I'm going to cut that down and then see what I think of it all right I cut down the paper already so I have that the right size now I'm going to cut down the photo and I think I want a little bit of the brick there but I don't need all of it so I think maybe this is three and a quarter I think I'll start at three and a quarter and see what I think of how that looks. That does leave me some room where I could stamp something if I want, put some washi on if I want. Yeah, I think I'll stick with that. I have adhered the photo where I want it, and then I have pulled out this roll of washi. I don't have a lot of brown. I actually need to get more. And as you can see, like, this one is almost... Done. I've had this a long time and I love it when I can actually use up a full roll of washi. You can tell it's it's getting tough to pull it off the roll towards the end here. I think I'm just going to like overlap a little. Well, maybe a little more. Like that, I think. It's good. Yeah, I might add like an enamel dot or maybe I could do some other stamping, like a really small phrase or something up there. I'm not sure. Let's put them all together. Let's see what I think. Yes, you know what? Because this is so bold, I think I want something, just a small phrase there. So I will go on the hunt for that right now. On this same stamp set, I realized there's a stamp down here. Let me do it this way so you can see it better. That says happy right here. And I want to use that one. Now, it's going to be a tight fit. And I'm not super pleased that now it's going to be longer than the washi strip that I did. But it is what it is. I could always remove this and do a longer one if I have enough left. But I probably won't. The other option is I could stamp this below and move the washi up if I want to. I don't know. I'll look at it a little more and decide before I stamp because I want to make sure I'm happy with it. I actually decided to take the washi off, cut it down a little bit, make it smaller, and move it down slightly more to give me more room up here. And then I centered the stamping because I felt like that looked better. This didn't seem so awkward when it was way out here. so. Now I'm, I'm pleased with that and that is done. I could put a staple in there if I want, but I don't know that I will. 
And then I'm just wondering, like, do I even need anything on these other photos? I'm thinking maybe, maybe I don't, except for here. But I don't need something at the bottom here. I was thinking maybe I'd do something here with this dead space. I think I'll leave it alone and just find something for this bottom portion. I went into a package of wood veneer that I have. I've had these for a long time and I've been struggling to use them all. They're kind of large for what I do, but there's a key in there and I don't know what else I would ever use that for. So because this is for an Airbnb, I figured why not do it here? But I think I'm actually going to take some of my brown ink and rough this up a little bit because I feel like that's too light. I mean, it kind of goes over here, but I would like something that's a little more in between that these two and this. All right, I did one side in this color and it was way too dark. So I flipped it over. I actually got a little bit of that on this side, but I kind of like it. It makes it look more weathered. And then I decided to just use this. I have a couple of these that I have been hoarding since they said they were gonna stop making these. I bought a few and I've just held on to them. This one is still working. So I decided to just rub that over the wood veneer and it worked great. So. Now I can apply it to the card. And voila, there it is all put together. I'm really happy with my decision to do that. I think it just adds a nice little touch to this. And I am trying to keep things flat, but I don't mind a little bit of this, you know, being raised. It's quite thin actually for wood veneer. So I'm totally cool with that. So here's another one done for Springfield. Thanks for watching.